Hi everyone, it's Ari Faye here. Uh, some people have been requesting my cell settings, so I decided to make a video to show you what I've got going. I'll page through some of the settings and talk about some of the specifics of my setup. Here is the first page. I don't think you change anything in here from the default cell. Uh, I am using for texture Voodoo, so I have downloaded the add-on Voodoo, and if you have Voodoo, then you can use the texture that Voodoo has inherently, so I have Voodoo Plane for that. I think all of these are default except for my dispel colors so druids can't dispel a disease or bleed effect but we can dispel curse magic and poison and so uh, my dispel color for my frames is navy I had it originally a color similar to the voodoo dispel color but it looked too similar to shaman so I just went ahead and uh, changed it to a dark color if you didn't like the dark color then you could probably change it to something like a light gray or, or like a light blue and you would still be able to read it pretty well and then I have this um, funky thing that I prefer which is transparent frames for health so you can see uh, on the preview window that uh, you can see the waterfall through there and in order to get that you need to bring health loss alpha down to about 48 and background alpha down to around the same number and it'll give you that nice semi-transparent look and then I keep everything else pretty much the same. These are my click casting assignments on my mouse. I am actually just going to go ahead and clear this so I can show you how to set this up if you've never used cell before. I'm gonna clear that out. And then in order to set this up, you press new and then you make sure you're hovering over the, the bind area. Then you just decide which part of your mouse you want to bind it to. So here we have left spell and then you select whichever spell you want it to be bound to. And then you just keep going. I prefer rejuve on my left and regrowth on my right. And then that sort of like scroller wheel I use as my swift mend. And then alt left, I have life bloom, alt, alt right, I have wild growth. And then shift left, I like to use as my target. And then you just click save and it saves it all. That being said, like if you prefer these to be assigned to different keys, like go ahead and do that. This is just my preference and setup, but I did want to show you how to set that up. Uh, and then smart resurrection, you can set it to automatically res. You gotta be careful about auto combat res though, because it might res somebody at a time when you would not want to res somebody. Like for example, if a boss is about to die and then your res goes off and somebody takes it and you waste a battle res. You can disable it if you want, or you can set it to just normal. So when you're out of combat, it'll res layouts if you want to copy the width and height of my panels you can just pause the video here and, and use these numbers or you can play with these and decide what you like best one thing to note is that if you do like to have your mana bar up on your panels that you would do that by just bringing this up to you know two or three whatever and then your mana bar appears underneath your frame there I have a mana bar on my UI already, so I don't really use that unless I'm on my tank. I do prefer a tank DPS healer sort on my panels, so you can move those as whatever your preference is. I know some people do like tank healer DPS. You just click and drag these. And then under pet, you can deselect show solo pet or show pets, or you can select to show those depending on your preference and they will appear like next to hunters or whoever has a pet and you can customize their panels height and width as well so indicators i have custom color a yellow color for my frames again sort of an homage to my voodoo days and then you could just take a look at all my other settings here and you can change that to your preferences. I also enabled health text for percentage of people's health to appear above their health bar. You don't need this, but if you like it, then you can add it. And then I have all of these not enabled through here. I, I don't use any of these. And then I have ready check icon enabled. None of these enabled, but I do have the aggro bar enabled. AOE healing, you'll have this little green sort of halo on your frames for those who are standing in your efflorescence. And then I have 
my external cooldowns sort of like offset just like a little below here to ensure that it's in that location you would want to make sure that the anchor point is right right slightly offset here with x at 2 and y at minus 3 and then you'll have that defensive cooldowns uh, when people use a defensive that'll pop up on their frames on the left in order to have that exact setting i have my anchor point at left left x at negative 2 y at 5 and then some tank mitigation here i put that at width 20 height 6 dispels this is just sort of the same information as last time but um you do want to make sure if you want it to like stay the solid color and not be like a gradient that you select solid health bar current otherwise uh, you'll get some of these sort of like strange gradient things which to me are not super noticeable compared to like that <laughs> debuffs I do not have enabled raid debuffs which include like any of these and several dungeons uh, that, that will appear there which I have the anchor point at top right and relative point at top right. X offset minus 21, Y offset zero. And then I have the size at 22. Private aura, I have that at center. Size 18, X offset zero, Y offset three. Targeted spells, so that would be, for example, wallop, that kind of thing. Kinetic explosive gel, that all I have in the corner. Anchored top right, relative point top right offset just minus one to be just inside the frames actions uh, when somebody takes a health stone or an algillary heal potion i have that on although i don't know if i've ever seen it to be honest and then so you can have your all of your indicators here just stacking but one of the people who viewed the video that i put out about my ui did show me how i can assign each hot to a specific location which I was able to do. So if you if you don't want to put all that work in, like I have, and, and you just want everything to just sort of stack on top of each other, then you can have this enabled. And then you would just want to make sure that for my specific UI, if you're looking for showing the duration text at minus 50%, I don't really like the animation personally, so I get rid of it. I, I do use it for raid, but it just looks like everybody's draining slowly. I prefer just the numbers on there. And then anchor point bottom left, bottom left at zero, zero. And then displayed per line, just max that out basically. And then I have my size at 21. Now, if you want to add an individual location for each spell, in order to do so, you would click create and name it. And then it automatically just defaults to be located there. So you have to go in and change all of the settings. So for Rejuve, you would add the spell ID and you can find all the spell IDs here in this healers list. So 774 for Rejuve. And then you wanna change this to below 50%. Get rid of that animation. Size, I have my size at 21. And then X, Y, you want zero, zero, but you want it anchored to bottom left and relative point to bottom left. And so now it's in the corner and then you don't have to change any of the rest of this, uh, but I am going to go through and just sort of show you, uh, I'll scroll through and if you want to pause and, and do what I have done, which is uh, create sort of these specific locations for all these spells rather than the just random stacking then you can go ahead and pause on each individual page to set it up like I have this is for rejuve this is for germination you can see I have my X offset at 21 life loom I have both life loom IDs X offset at 41 Regrowth, X offset at 50, Wild Growth, X offset at 83. I do like to track insurance, so I have created an indicator for that with the spell ID, X offset at 104. 
I, I actually don't use Scenarian Ward this season with my build, so I have only created a page for it. I haven't actually done anything with it. You don't have to do anything with raid debuffs. Utilities, you can add a ready check and pull timer in the corner there. It like defaults to be put right here, so if you ever need to move it, uh, I do think you have to be in a dungeon. As the leader, you can move it uh, by, I think, right clicking it or left clicking it or something like that. Uh, similar to what you have here and how you can move these frames. I am going to try and put the cell um, export in the description, but I've n I personally have never been able to get this to work as um, an import, but if you do try and it works for you, great, but I think you would have to go to layouts and then import here. All right, well, thank you for watching and be sure to like and comment to show your support.